Well, hello, St. Christopher's. I am here with Sam Schilling, and we would like to invite you to join our ministry of lectors and intercessors. Lectors, as you may know, are people who read scripture, and the intercessors are the ones who do the prayers of the people. And so, Sam Schilling, you've been doing this for years now. You've been doing it as, probably as long as I've ever been here. And I'm wondering why you're interested in this ministry. Well, I, first of all, I'd like to tell a story about how I did get interested in uh, lecturing or reading, if you will. And it happened when I was in the Navy stationed in Cuba. And it was a non-denominational church there. Right. And for some reason, they asked me if I would read the, the, the lecture for one Sunday. I said, sure, I'll do that. And I got up from my pew and went and read. And when I came back, one of the daughters, one of my daughters, and they were very young, six or seven at the time, right. said, gee, Dad, I didn't know you were a preacher, too. That's great. And so I said, well, gosh. And I paraphrase that, by the way. Uh, I, when we moved back to Pensacola after that and re, re, uh, returned to St. Christopher's, we had gone here before. Uh, that's when I decided I'd be a uh, enjoy being a lector and a reader yeah, and a uh, chalice minister also. And so now you schedule the 1030 service, those people. I do, I schedule the 1030 service and uh, the lectors and the intercessory prayers, prayers of the people, do the same. So one week, if you're scheduled, you may be a lector mm -hmm. or you may be the, uh, reading and praying the prayers of the people. Right. And so now that we're inviting people to join this ministry, what is it that you're looking for in that person? Mm -hmm. What qualities are you looking for? And being kind of a nuts and bolts type of a person. I, I'm i really into dedication and doing it the right way, I guess you would say. Make sure that you realize commas and periods are there for a reason. When you're reading, read to the entire congregation, speak clearly, speak loudly, don't get in a rush, and uh, you're telling a story, yeah. make the story good, because shortly thereafter, somebody is gonna be telling the story in right. the sermon. Right. Well, you know, when, when I went to seminary, the, the first summer you're there, they teach you a language, at least you start, <laughs> and they also teach you oral interpretation of scripture, and that really is what our lectors are doing. They are interpreting the scripture, and so for me, what I'm looking for is somebody who has, has read and really understands that scripture piece before they get up to the, to the lectern to speak it. Because if they understand it, and if it's in, inside of them, then the rest of us will be able to hear it in such a way that we understand it. And maybe, um, you know, scripture was, was written to be read. It is an oral, um, it is an oral source of, of knowing Christ's presence. And so um, the, those people who join this ministry are really doing the whole community such an incredible service. And when I think about uh, what we do on Sundays, what we do Saturday mm -hmm. night at our services, um, the ability to communicate the meaning of the scripture is so essential. Reading from the book of Genesis. Jacob settled in the land where his father had lived as an alien, the land of Canaan. This is the story of the family of Jacob. Joseph, being 17 years old, was shepherding the flock with his brothers. He was a helper to the sons of Bilhah and Zilpah, his father's wives. And Joseph brought a bag with him. It's so important to be do as much as you can to be part of the service. Yeah. Anybody can come and sit in the pew, and, and don't get me wrong, that's fine also. Right. But to be able to be part of the service a little bit more, in my opinion, is very worthwhile. Yes. So, as I said, Sam Schilling, he schedules those, those folks for the 1030 service on Sunday. 
And then Sandy Loudon does the eight o'clock service and Guy Abbott does the 5.30 Saturday service. So if you're interested in being a reader or being a pray, prayer, um, please call the front office or call one of them and their points of contact are on this video. So thank you for all that you do and um, Sam, for all your dedication. Thank you for- Thank you, it's not a job, it's an adventure. That's great, all right, thank you.